Okay, I was a little bit rusty with my CAD stuff, but check this out. I'm pretty proud of it. I'll explain it. Check this out. Look. We have some vertical square tubing and it's got holes in it. So we're gonna mount two of those on the wall. These little dowels, they're wooden dowels. So that's gonna create this slider mount. And this is a camera mount. You got a screw hole right in the center to mount the camera to it. Both this blue part here and this part here are gonna be 3D printed. So as you slide this up and down, you can see where the pin can go through so it'll lock in place. This will be able to slide left and right so we'll be able to put markings on these dowels to say, okay, this is position one, two, three, four, whatever. And this is hole 12, 13, 14, 15, etc. So once we get the camera positioned to capture a certain athlete or to capture myself or whatever the case might be, I'll always know that I might be hole 22 in position C. So I can always put the camera in the exact same place. Kind of nerdy stuff, but uh, it helps when you know how to design some stuff. So the next part is I send off those two parts to someone with a 3D printer, and then go to Home Depot later today, buy the necessary equipment, get this thing mounted up. On my way to the facility to take some measurements, need some eye hooks, I need some steel beams, not steel, aluminum probably, but I need some two by fours to mount it to the wall, some bolts, stuff like that. I'm trying to get this project done, or at least move forward so I get to dust off my old engineering skill set. Got my parts list. Let's see how many of my parts on my parts list Home Depot has in their store. Hopefully a lot. I need two of these and they don't have any eight foot aluminum rods. So I'll have to order those in. Let's go find the pulleys. That looks like my guy right there. Next up is some wire rope. I need 24 feet of that. So I need someone to cut it for me. Added some cable clamps. 28 bucks, that's about all I can get there for today. Now I gotta call someone to get the right size tubes and steel and stuff. Sounds like I'm on hold. Yeah, metal, sorry. Hey, I was looking for some uh, eight foot long aluminum tubes, uh, maybe three quarter inch in diameter. Industrial metal supply has what I need. So hoping I don't get caught in traffic because I need to get in there before five and I only got about 20 minutes to spare, so. So this and this piece right over here are going to be mounted to a wall. These two pieces will be like this, but they'll be turned, so they'll be, you know, parallel to the ground, both of them. The wire will wrap around these and it'll come up through this eye hook over the pulley and down into one into one wire over here that I can just pull. This wire will attach here, go up through this eye hook that's gonna be at the exact same height. It'll run across this way and then through here up into the pulley. So I'll have two wires going into the pulley and then I'll clamp them together down here so it's one wire, put a pin on it so I can pull and it'll pull these two rods up at the same time so it won't get all cockeyed and then I'll have a pin attached to it that just goes and slots in in all those holes. So I got the wire, I got the clamps. What I don't have is the 3D printed part. I can get the final measurements on it, send that off to the printer tonight, and hopefully we have something in a week or so, and I can uh, put this whole thing together. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's move out day. Packed up all my stuff, leaving Tasha's house. Moving my stuff into an Airbnb. I've been living out of the same suitcase, but it'll be nice to have a semi-permanent place where I can like unpack. Use the left two lanes to merge onto State Route 101 Loop North. Well, home for the next month. Nice house, I kind of like the color scheme in here. White with blue and blue cabinets, whites. I'm not sure about the blue wall, it's a different color, but I do like the cabinets. Nice little touch. I'm tired, not physically, but mentally. Been sitting in this chair on my computer that was right there, probably for the past six hours. I'm just going over a bunch of stuff that I can't really share right now because we're still in development on it. It's gonna be very exciting when it does come out. Now, uh, it's like 8.15, 
and there's a couple more go-kart races tonight so I'm gonna move this truck dust off the old expensive go-kart here and drive it to go get some go-kart racing in Today's another work day. Got to figure some spreadsheet stuff out. I'm going to talk with Tosh, but what's far more interesting to me is... Hey, what's up, dude? Hey. Hey, you want to strap GoPros to our heads and go race and check our lines and like follow each other so we can yes. figure out... Oh, oh, oh. oh, what I was trying to say before your dog punched me in the nuts, you want to strap GoPros to our heads and follow each other so we can figure out where our lines are fastest and slowest. I don't need to think about it, just yes. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, we got to figure out this uh, automation thing first, and then yeah. we can reward ourselves. Woo! It comes first, play comes second, but you got to do both. Set up the time, so I test it again at 112. It's saying to put this data in this in row. a certain column. Yes, in that column. Or just, just put it. Call, yeah, move it, move it up. Well, that took slightly longer than expected. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon, but we're gonna go get our races in anyway. And it's a great day to not drive my truck because there's no rain. We're gonna take a full-size go-kart to get in the, in the mood. I love the sound of it starting up. follow here yeah. so it's a steeper entry or it's like as soon as I get by this corner I hug this wall yeah. so it's like a straight line and this is how my stupid brain works <laughs> so I can't just have a hobby that's fun I'm breaking down my fastest lap of the day versus his fastest lap of the day I started the footage at the exact same spot on the track got a side by side here and you can see I hit this little white spot right there so I hit it boom mine stops so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen frames between when I hit that spot and he hits that spot at the end of the lap, which means that 24 frames a second, which is what this video is exported at, that's three quarters of a second. So I beat him by basically 0.75 seconds. I'm going back and watching it and saying, okay, where did I pick up time versus him and where did I lose time? versus him, completely ruining my hobby by trying to get good at it. That's the competitive nature of me. Lazy morning so far. Got a new batch of supplements that I need to take today. I finished my first 14 days with 100% compliance, so we're on to the next stage, so that's good. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna figure that out. Well, I decided it's probably a good idea to leave the house on a Saturday. I can't just sit inside and waste a beautiful day. I am off to run some errands. <laughs> Aaron number one down, time to get some eats. Food secured. Going for a drive with Tosh. You got a grasshopper in here? Praying mantis. Yeah, praying mantis. What are you doing in here, dude? You wanna fight? He don't want none. Where are we going? Bartlett Lake. Joyride. No space for the vlog camera in the cabin, so it's going in the front. I think Tosh put us on the wrong road. This is what we're working with. Off-roading in a McLaren. Pretty much exactly what this car was designed for. We're in second gear, actually. We're going 12. That's the definition of a joyride. How many miles do we have left? Uh... I wonder how destroyed the under part of my car is going to be. Many of you might have thought that this is a McLaren 765 LT, 
What you don't know is it's a McLaren 765 ATV. Off-road, track monster, boulder climber, zero to 60 in 2.7, but also zero to 60 on a dirt road in like 60 minutes. So we get all the way out of here and the gate is closed. So the gate blocks our access to the water. So now we're on a road, apparently over here, but my phone has no idea where we're going, so. So you took me on a dirt road for three miles yep. in a McLaren to get to the water. There's no water. Hey, at least we got to off-road in a McLaren. We did get to see a dam. My dad likes dams a lot. Here, Warren, I did it for you. <laughs> well, my once clean car is now, oh gosh, not clean at all. Lots of dead butterflies as well. What's it called? Rattlesnake Cove. Rattlesnake Cove. I'm gonna check out what this is all about. RIP my dude. Well, that was a good way to spend four hours, three and a half, four hours. And now we're back. Exciting news, my 3D printed parts should be in tomorrow so I can start my camera assembly project back up. I'm writing a script for a video that I'm gonna do. Player breakdowns, start talking about why certain players are so good. Just kind of looking at players around the league and trying to bring some positivity. So first guy that I'm working on is Corbin Burns, who's having a tremendous season, but he's in Milwaukee and I don't think a lot of people really talk about him.